when I went and picked up the, the prototype in LA, I was like really surprised. The bevels just right away, I mean, not only have to get looks a million times better than the first one, just I think visually it looks cool, but after playing it, it's just so much more comfortable with this upper arm bevel. It was cool, you know, to, to know I could just, just those few extra frets would give me the ability to, you know, because the way I look at it, I'm still that kid that goes home and puts in a new CD and tries to play along. It's just cool. It's just more expansion, more possibilities, um, which is key to writing music. Even on this guitar, especially, like they've really made the 27 super accessible. I've played other 27 fret guitars for a couple years, and you had to really work to really use the, the 27th fret, because I really do actually use it almost every song, just out of principle. I don't want to be a guy with a seven string that only uses six strings, you know what I'm saying? Um, but that was cool is that it's like 27th, the 24th fret is like crazy access. It's like there's nothing there at all, especially because the heel is so ridiculously like way in. So it's just really smart design. Um, another cool thing is like it's got like the matte finish and I was kind of worried because I've dealt with some matte finish guitars before. Sometimes they're a little too grainy and what happens is even just a couple shows in from sweating in your arm, you kind of get like shiny spots, and it kind of, I don't know, it doesn't really wear well. I mean, I've used this this whole tour, I'm only two dates away from the end of the tour, and it looks, it still looks brand new. One of the things I was worried about is, for years now, I've just been using uh, standard Floyd Rose type trims. I kind of abuse the hell out of the tremolo. I do a lot of you know, flutters and just, you know, crazy just harmonic pulls and stuff. Never, I don't even think one show, never had a switch guitar, never broke a string, never had a tune up. If you use the old Zyphos a lot, standing up, sometimes because of the shape, it tends to lean forward because of the, it's not as much wood in the back. It actually moves the jack, the strap button down to the, by the jack, and actually evens out the body. Our main thing is just, to show that you can write catchy, good structured songs no matter how heavy they are. I mean, just because the song is heavy doesn't mean it, you know, it can't have a, a good, you know, chorus for everybody to hum along to or sing along to, even if it's, you know, death metal. It's, that's just the basic of, you know, it's the, the basis of songwriting. I mean, you, who doesn't want, you know, kids leaving your venue at the end of like humming your songs, you know, like humming your melody lines. To me, that's the best compliment in the world because it's like you wrote something memorable you know to think of how it's going to be you know 10 years down the road you know it's the right thing that's going to stick around that's pretty cool